This is Tech Talent Talk from BrainCal. Here I'm going to explain Python concepts for beginners. What is Python? Python is a high-level interpreted programming language. It's known for its readability and simplicity, widely used in web development, data science, automation, AI, and more. Why learn Python? It is easy to learn and use while having extensive libraries and frameworks. It has strong community support while being versatile for various applications. Installing Python. Download, download and install Python from www.python.org. Use package managers like pip to install additional libraries. Installing code editor. There are lots of code editors, but I'm going to install Visual Studio Code. It makes debugging a lot more easy. Your first Python program. Print and then bracket is a built-in function that outputs text to the console. Hello world is a string enclosed in quotes. So if we write this line of code um, as shown below, um, it will print onto the console, hello world. Variables and data types. Variables are containers for storing data values. Variables do not need to be declared with any particular type and can even change type after they have been set. Data types. In programming, data, uh, data type is an important concept. Um, variables, can store, variables can store data of different types and different types uh, can do different things. The, com uh, the common data types are integers, floats, strings, characters, and boolean. Basic operations. So as you might know, the basic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, as shown as the comments next to these variables, which perform, which are supposed to perform each of the different um, operations or functions or whatever um, separately. And we can print all the results by printing A, B, C, and D. Separately. Typecasting. This converts the data from one type to another. So, if for example, the top one is integer to float, so x is a variable which, which represents 10, number 10. Uh, y is a variable which equals float and then in brackets x. So if we do, if we print y, which is print and in brackets y, um, as you can see on the comment next to it, the output will be 10.0. And then uh, it's the same for the next two. The second one is string to integer, and the third one is float to integer. String concatenation. Um, this combines multiple strings into one. To concatenate or combine two strings, you can use the plus operator. So here we can see first name is a variable which represents Alice, and obviously in quotation marks since it's, since it's a string. Last name is Smith, um, in quotation marks since it's also a string. So full name is supposed to represent first name, which is Alice, plus and then a space so that the space in between the two words and also it's part of the string so it has to be in quotation marks and then plus last name which is smith so this will so if we print full name as you can see on the comment next to it the output will be alice smith with the space this can also be used for the age as you can see below and uh, use while using f strings as well lists lists are ordered mutable collections of items lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable we can we can create a list of fruits as shown here so fruits equals apple and then banana and then cherry. So, so basically three fruits each with quotation marks. Um, and if we print the, if we print the list name fruit, so we'll just print the list apple banana apple banana and then cherry. And then for, for accessing elements, so, so if we print in fruits and like in curved brackets and then inside that next like after you write fruits, but still inside the curved brackets you do square brackets and in that you've got zero which is supposed to represent index zero. So just to quickly say, in uh, so the index is going to start from zero and then go zero, one, two, three, whatever. So apple will be zero, so it's the first one, then banana will be one, then cherry will be two. So it will basically just print the first item to the zero, which is apple. Then modifying elements, so we do fruits and then um, br uh, bra square brackets, and then in that we put one. So that will just, that, that's obviously banana since apple is zero. And zero one obviously, and then you know, since it's blueberry, it was just replaced. It was just replaced with blueberry, and then yeah, and then adding elements. So fruits dot append. So for adding elements, you use dot append. So it would just be the list, any list name, and then dot append. Here it's fruits. So fruits dot append, and then since it's date, it will just add date to the end of the list. Let's say you put another, let's say you put something like pear. It will just put pear at the end. Dictionaries. Dictionaries are used to store data values in key value pairs. A dictionary is a collection which is ordered, changeable, and do not allow duplicates.
conditional statement. Contro this is a control flow with if, elif, and else. So Python Python supports the usual logical uh, uh, conditions from from mathematics, and that's how the system also understands it. So equals so equals would be a equals equals b. Not equals is a exclamation mark equals b. Less than is a, and then less than sign b, and then there are a lot more that can also be used in the code. Loop. So Python has two primitive loop commands as shown here. So four loops, which can repeat a task a certain number of times, and while loops. So with the while loop, we can execute a certain number of statements as long as a condition is true. Functions. So in in uh in this topic, there is also creating a function as well, but in Python, a function is defined using the def keyword as shown um, in this code. A uh, function is a block of code which only runs when it is called. So def normally stands for definition, but it is a function. So greet and the name, and then we have a little print statement below it. But if we want this to work, we have to call it. So at the end, we call it, and then we have Alice and Bob in the brackets. So function continued. So you can pass data known as parameters into a function. A function can return data as a result. The same, the same is uh, demonstrated here in this code. Parameters are specified after the function name inside the parenthesis. The keyword return is specified if the function returns a value as shown here. Modules and libraries. So what is a module? Well, just in case you're asking yourself that in your mind right now. So consider a module to be the same as, as um, basically a code library, a file containing a set, of, uh, a set of functions you want to include in your application. So here I'm importing math library to utilize some of the methods in it like square root, power, etc. as shown here. Reading from and writing files. So file handling is an important part of any application. Python has several functions for creating, reading, updating, and deleting files. So the key function for working with files is the open and then brackets function. The open function takes two parameters, so the file name and the mode. And here I've demonstrated two modes, write and read. So write, write is basically, it opens a file for writing create, and creates the file if it does not exist. Small Python projects. So um, an example task could be create a simple command line utility to do, uh, wait, oh, um, my bad. Create a simple command line utility to do list application where Users can add, view, and remove tasks. The, feature, the key features would be add new task, list all the tasks, and remove completed tasks. So starting the project off, we have task and then square brackets, and then we have the function. I mean, um, well, before that, we have the comment function to display tasks, just to show you how that what it's doing. So def is the function to so just display tasks. So um, then you have an if statement, if and then else, and then um, we also, and then we have another one which is add task and then description and it has dot append for adding as I said before in lists and so on. Um, so again we have another function so complete task then we have another if statement and then we have delete task another if statement and yeah. And then also right now we have the main function to run the to-do list application so the um, the definition or function is main and then brackets. So this is a while loop, obviously, as you can see, it says while. So while true, so it has to run. So we have plenty of ones like, you know, view task, add task, complete task, delete task, exit. So these are, I mean, all three um, key features are in this while uh, the they have two more, like exit and um, like view tasks or add tasks, something like that. It was. So, yeah. And here we have a really big. Um, if statement, so if and then like four elements and then else. So this is to do with exiting the to-do list application, entering the task number to delete, um, enter task description, enter task number to mark it as completed and invalid choice, just in case. And the end of the project just ends with this line, this uh, line of code with the um, with the function getting called at the end. And yeah, thank you for watching everybody. So for further questions or, or doubts, please contact BrainCal Tech Team on this email ID. Please give it a like and subscribe uh, to the channel for more updates. Thank you.